What's going on guys, in this video we're talking about creatine. We'll take you 10 grams of creatine, double the gains that you're getting from only 5 grams. Is it beneficial for you to add the dosage and go for 10 grams, maybe 15 grams? We'll talk about that in this video, alright? Just, I just want to say first that creatine is my favorite supplement, all right? It's really something that I can't go without when I'm trying to maximize my gains in the gym. Whether you're bulking or you're cutting, creatine are, uh, well, is a great supplement. It will help you hydrate your muscles better, get more strength in the muscles, more water, more glycogen, more endurance when you're training. So uh, less risk of injury gives you that more volume in the muscles, more volume look because you're getting more water in there. Anyways, creatine great supplement overall now let's talk about the dosage something you gotta know that creatine is something that we can get from food all right it's present in red meat uh, salmon i think sardines as well but it's very hard to get enough of all right especially when you're trying to build muscle mass your muscle mass is pretty high or you're a heavy person overall well you will need more uh, of that dosage and that's why they created the supplement creatine now creatine there's three or four reasons why you need to consider upping your dosage. So now it says that taking five grams a day, uh, let's talk about the loading phase. A lot of people will do the loading phase, which basically means uh, you'll load up, you'll take 20 grams for a week and then maintain on five grams. But uh, a lot of people, after they finish taking 20 grams and they stick to five grams, they don't see a lot of difference anymore. All right, because five grams is not enough for them. And that could be because of many reasons. Number one, they have a high muscle mass. The more you wait, the more you need creatine. I saw Andrew Huberman doing a video on it yesterday and he was saying that if you're between 180 to maybe 200, 210 pounds, you will need more creatine than someone that is 160, obviously. And he would say that you will need to consider a 10 grams a day. So instead of going for five grams, consider 10 grams a day. So if you're 180 pounds, consider 10 grams. That's the first thing. Number two, so even if you're under 180, but you uh, can, uh, 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 you are, the number two, well, you can still take 10 grams a day, which is uh, a high workload, all right? So creatine is also used depending on your workload. So let's say you train two hours a day and, okay, let's not push it. Let's say you train an hour a day and you work in construction all day. You walk, you do, you do running, you do your cardio. You're very active while your body will need more creatine. That's someone that just goes to the gym 45 minutes and stays home with and uh, work on his desk all day, all right? So his uh, need for creatine is different than yours. So think about that. What is your workload? Are you training twice a day? Are you doing big workouts that are an, an hour 30 a day? And this is something that you wanna consider. If yes, well, taking 10 grams a day is a good option for you. And trust me, uh, I take 10 grams a day and I see a huge difference as opposed to just taking five grams. For me, 10 grams is the basic. I can't go under 10 grams. And as soon as I drop it, I really feel the difference, all right? Because I train long workouts and I'm working standing all day long. So I'm very active. I have a very active life. And that is why I keep my uh, dosage of creatine uh, at least 10 grams a day. But I'm under 180 pounds, all right? Move it on. Reason number three is uh, we spoke about the muscle mass being high, your weight being high. Uh, if you're not eating red meat, if you don't eat red meat, you're not consuming salmon, you're not consuming the foods that have creatine in them. Let's say a lot of people don't eat red meat. They will just eat chicken for a protein or white fish. Well, in that case, you're not also getting enough creatine from the food you're, you're consuming and consuming a bit more through supplement can be helpful. Number four is that if you're not a good responder, a lot of people are not great responders to creatine. So that's why taking only five grams will not do anything and upping it to 10 grams will do wonders. All right, so if you're someone that is taking creatine right now, but you don't feel anything, you feel really the same, consider upping the dosage and going for 10 grams, double it, all right? Now, uh, you can take it all post-workout, you can take it all pre-workout. What I do is I take pre and post-workout. So I'll take five grams pre, five grams post, and I'm good for the day, all right? So I get the best of both words, but go with however you feel. You can take it all the 10 grams one shot, but guys, yes, that taking 10 grams will definitely help you. Definitely, if you, uh, if you identify with all the four things that I just said before, but yes, 10 grams has been a game changer for me and that is why I take 10 grams of creatine every single day. If you like that video, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing it with a friend, comment down below and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.